This week, we are going to be exploring texture collage. What are we learning about today? Our main focus is going to be on texture. We will also look at collage and a little bit of composition. What is texture? Texture is how something feels or looks like it feels. What is collage? A collage is when you use different objects or materials to make a piece of art that feels complete. Usually it's done with scissors and glue. Let's watch the video about texture. Look for what types of texture you see in the video. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Abby. And we're here to tell you all about the word texture. Yeah, texture is a great word, Josh. It really is. <laughs> and texture means the way something looks and feels. Mm -hmm. And right now, we are going to show you some textures. Wow, we are? Uh -huh. Cool. So, so cool. How are we going to do that? A uh, fashion show. A fashion show. <laughs> what do you mean a fashion show? <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh, a magic fashion show. Oh, these PJs are awesome. Yeah, and check out their amazing texture. Hey, yeah, these jammies look and feel so soft and fuzzy. I love this texture. Uh -huh. Well, it's time for another texture. But I like this texture. Um, Abby, what, what am I wearing? It's a wetsuit, Josh. Oh, I, I, I know. Why am I wearing a wetsuit? Well, well, for the texture. Check out how the wetsuit looks and feels. Well, it looks and feels smooth and rubbery. <laughs> right. The wetsuit has a smooth and rubbery texture. Great. Great. That's terrific. Can, can we change to a new texture now? <laughs> Absolutely. Texture. Uh, <laughs> um, Abby, this, this itches. Well, it's a burlap sack. Yeah, why, why am I wearing a burlap sack? For that texture, Josh. Uh -huh. Check out that texture. Well, it looks and feels rough and scratchy. That's right. Burlap has a rough and scratchy texture. Well, this texture really itches, so you can just poof me into a new texture. That would be so good. <laughs> well, sorry, Josh. That's all the textures I have. Oh, <laughs> texture. texture. Oh, can I borrow this? Huh? Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so bad. I could. What textures did you see in the video? What type of textures do you see in the pictures below? What texture might be the bear? Soft. What texture or how might the cups feel? Smooth. What texture are the Legos? Bumpy. What texture is the sandpaper? Rough. What texture do you think the blankets are? Soft. How might a table feel? Smooth. I wonder what gummy bears feel like. Squishy. If I run my hand across a stick, I wonder how it will feel. Rough. These are just some types of textures that you might find around your house. Can you go find some of your own? Today, you are going to be going on a texture scavenger hunt, and you're going to make a texture collage. Find objects in your house that have texture. That means they feel like something. Place the objects together on a piece of paper or a surface that you want to use as your background. Arrange your items on your paper how you like them. Glue down your items if you wish. If you look at the first picture, they decided to use items that they found outside. And they placed their items all around the paper how they liked them. That's called composition or making a composition. 
the way you place your items is a composition. This person wanted to make their collage look like something. So they found leaves outside, but this time they cut and glued them into different shapes and glued it together to make a butterfly. You can do it either way. Your picture can be abstract, meaning it doesn't really look like anything. It just shows the textures. Or your picture can be representational, meaning it looks like something. This looks like a butterfly. Here's another example of a collage. This one focuses on showing you the textures. And here is one more example of a collage. This person focused on showing you different textures, but they also incorporated it into a picture. So they made it look like a hamburger and they found different items that had textures and made those each part of the hamburger. It's up to you how complex or how detailed you wanna make this. You can make it short and sweet and simple and just find different textures and place them on a piece of paper and photograph them, or you can make it look like something. It's totally up to you. Let's take a closer look. Hey guys, it's Mr. Vera back here again for another art video. We are focusing on texture today. So the first thing that you wanna do is go around your house and find just a plethora of different items or objects that have texture. So things that feel like something or look like they would feel like something. So I'm going to show you what I've gathered. So I've gotten like little stuffed animals, soft, gotten, I thought this candle felt smooth. So I put that in my box. I found some cotton balls and they were nice and fuzzy and soft. This little skateboard feels rough, kind of like sandpaper. I found some Q-tips and I thought those might feel bumpy if I laid them all on the line. So just find a whole bunch of different objects that feel like something. Then the next step is you are going to arrange them in an interesting composition. So a composition means how you arrange the items or how you place them. There are a few different ways you can do this. You can just grab all the items that you like in your house and you can place them either on a piece of paper or even just on the table and place them in an interesting way that looks good to you. Maybe I found some of these. Maybe I wanna make these look bumpy, like a railroad track. This looks kind of rough. Maybe I'm gonna put some things repeating, like a couple of these cotton balls. They're soft. Maybe I wanna include something that is sticky, like a sticker. So you're just gonna arrange the items on your paper in a way that you like, and then take a picture of it. The other way you can go about the assignment is by gluing items to your paper. If you want to do that, keep in mind that these items should be things that you don't want or are items that are paper-based. You want to make sure that you ask your grown-up about the items you use before you use them. So this looks smooth to me, this piece of paper. I can glue that down to my paper. I could take that same piece of paper and I could choose to make it bumpy just by folding it. If I wanted to fold it. I could even take things that have a texture like this earring that I found or a quarter and I can lay it underneath my paper if I want to. I can take a crayon that doesn't have a wrapper, pinch it, 
lay it flat and rub it and the texture will come off onto the paper. I can choose to glue down some Q-tips, although if you have the runny glue, that's probably a better option for this. When you're placing the items down, um, you can make it abstract, meaning it doesn't have to look like anything, or you can try to make a picture out of it, an object out of it. Think about where you're placing them. It's good to have an idea of what you're doing and not just throw everything on the paper. Maybe. I want these Q-tips to work together to make it look bumpy. Or maybe I don't, that's fine too. Don't just throw the items on the paper. You can add all kinds of things, string, you can make the string go in different ways, different lines. Even a cracker or a food item could work. An apple would be smooth. This cracker has like woven um, bumpy textures. When you're done, don't forget to take a picture and reflect on it. Think about what textures you saw within your work. This was soft. This was smooth. This looks bumpy. These together look bumpy. So go ahead and talk about your work after you're done and then take a picture. Let's reflect. What is texture? What is your favorite texture that you learned about today? I hope you had fun. Don't forget to turn in your work. Include your name and your homeroom teacher's name on your paper.